Question 16. What is the quotient represented by the expression 8w squared minus 20w minus 12, all divided by 2w plus 1? For all values of w where the expression is defined. So basically, I'm going to need to divide this. Now, I can't really divide it like this. So what I'm going to do is I notice that there's a squared here. So I'm going to go ahead and factor this trinomial first. So that's going to be my first step. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that here on this paper, just the top part. 8w squared minus 20w minus 12. Now, before I factor anything, what I noticed is that all of these numbers are even, and I can divide them all by 4. So let's go ahead and take out a 4 and put it outside. So I'm going to have here 4, and I'm going to put this in parentheses. And so 4 times what number is 8? 4 times 2 is 8, and I'm going to copy w squared. I'm going to copy that negative. 4 times what number is 20? 4 times 5 is 20. So I'm going to put 5 here with the w and then copy that negative. 4 times what number is 12? 3. So there we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and factor this over here. Okay, so that's going to be my next step. Factor 2w squared minus 5w minus 3. So we're going to go ahead and do our ABCs. A is the number with the letter squared, so that's 2. B is the number with the letter no exponent, that's negative 5. C is the number with no letter, no variable, that's negative 3. Okay? And so the first thing that you're going to do to factor this is you're going to do A times C. A is 2 times C is negative 3, but you're not going to use the negative, right? So for this, you're just not, you're going to ignore the signs right now. So 2 times 3 is 6. We're going to find the factors of 6, okay? So to get 6, I can do 1 times 6, okay? So you always start with 1. After 1 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. After 2 is 3, but I already have 3, okay? So what I want is I want the B, Okay, so I want negative 5. Okay, so how can I get negative 5 from these numbers? What can I add or subtract to get negative 5? Well, to get negative 5, I would need to do positive 1, negative 6, right? 1 minus 6 is negative 5. So this is the pair that I want. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and rewrite this we're going to copy it all except the b, the negative 5w. I'm going to replace it with positive 1w and negative 6w. I can do that because 1 minus 6 is the same as negative 5. So that would be my next step here. So I'm going to copy 2w squared, no negative 5w. I'm replacing it with these two numbers with the w, plus 1w, minus 6w, and then copy that c minus 3. Okay, so we're factoring by grouping right now. So now you're going to go ahead and group the first two together and the second two together, and we are going to factor. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and find the factors of these. Two is a prime number, so I can't really make a factor tree. So the, the factorization of this is 2 times w times w. It's 2 is prime. w squared means there's two w's. Okay, and then 1 w, 1 you don't have to put it, okay? It's just W, all right? You can put 1 if you want. I'll go ahead and put 1. 1 times W. What's my greatest common factor? What do they have in common? They both have 1 W. So what you're going to do is you're going to open your parenthesis. You're going to put what they have the same on the outside. The GCF, the greatest common factor, what they have the same is outside. And then what they have different, you're going to go ahead and put inside. What do they have different here? I have 2w. The sign in the middle needs to be the same as here, plus. And then here, what's different is 1. There we go. Let's go ahead and do the same here. Now, ignore the signs for now, 6 and 3. 6 is not prime. I can divide 6 by something. I can do 2 times 3 for 6. Okay? So... 
the factorization of 6w is 2 times 3 times w because 6 is 2 times 3 and 1w. 3 is prime. So the factorization of 3 is just 3 and there's no letter there. What do they have the same? The GCF, the greatest common factor, they have a 3 in common. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open my parenthesis. What they have the same, the greatest common factor goes outside. Now look what else they have the same. They both have a negative. Okay, so if this number has a negative, you're going to go ahead and stick that outside. That's going to be outside. Now, if you put this outside, if you put that negative outside, the two spaces here for what is different, they're going to be opposite. So if here it's negative, negative, because I put the negative outside, here it's going to be positive, positive. Okay? So what's different here? 2w, and it's going to be positive because, as I said, it's the opposite of this. This spot will also be positive because this is negative and I need the opposite, so this will be positive. What is different here? Nothing is different here. Okay, so you cannot leave this empty. You're going to put a 1. There we go. Now, do you see how here it's the same? Perfect. That's exactly what you want. If they're not the same, either it's not factorable or you did something wrong. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our two pairs of parentheses. This is the same. Go ahead and stick that in the front. And W minus 3, what is different? We're going to stick in here. Okay, and then one more thing, don't forget, remember in the beginning, we put a 4 outside. Do you remember how we put a 4 outside? We're going to go ahead and put that in the front right here as well. So we factored it. Perfect. So now what we're going to do, instead of 8w squared minus 20w minus 12, I'm going to write the factored version of this. So the factored version of this is where we took the 4 outside and we factored all of that, which is this. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down right now. It's the same thing. This is the same as this, but this is better right now because I broke it down. I factored it. Copy the divided by... Copy the 2w plus 1. Okay, so this is the same thing. This is just the factored version. Now, I can cancel some stuff out. If you have the same thing up as down, you can cancel that. 2w plus 1 divided by 2w plus 1 is 1. They cancel. So what do I have left? I just have 4, parenthesis w minus 3, and nothing down right now. Now, this answer is not available here because I'm going to need to go ahead and distribute. I need to multiply. Parenthesis means multiply. I have one, two parts. In the parenthesis, I'm going to multiply. 4 times w is 4w. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. That's a simplified version. So which one is my answer? Looks like b is my answer. 4w minus 12. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Give me your opinion on how we did this. Did you like the way that we solved this question? Do you solve it a different way? Leave a comment. See you next time.